There's a reason why in all the ancient ruins, ancient temples of Greece, it's forbidden to walk barefoot. If you walk into these temples with no shoes, they tell you to put shoes on. Why? The soles of our feet, the soul of our feet is literally soaking up all the information from Earth constantly, constantly. When we walk barefoot, we're exchanging with the electrical charge of the Earth. We're balancing the charge of our bodies. And these temples, they're not built on random locations of the Earth. <laughs> these temples are built upon ley lines. And the last thing the system wants you to do is walk barefoot on ley line points. Why? Ley line points, especially the parts where they intersect, are full of vital energy which can be harnessed by every single human being which is walking upon them, especially if they do so consciously. That's why we walk barefoot. Walking barefoot is not just a hippie thing. It's not dirty, on the contrary to what society will teach you. Walking barefoot is the one thing that can cure all diseases, all diseases. Just by walking barefoot, you can boost your immunity so high that you become immune to any virus, any disease, any seasonal flu. And if humans knew this, people would be lining up outside trash cans to throw their shoes away. These rubber soles of the shoes are actually blocking that electrical charge. And that's not by accident either. Who do you think thought of that? Someone who wants us to be in connection with the earth? Or someone who doesn't want us to? And why don't they want us to? Just some food for thought. When you walk barefoot for just five minutes, just sit like I'm sitting here, barefoot, stand up, walk on the soil of earth barefoot, you feel it. This charge coming up into your heart, into your veins, into your lungs. You're recharging. We are beings which are connected to this planet. We are of this planet. This planet, Mother Earth, Yea in ancient Greek, Yea, which the English took and say Gaia. Yea is a living organism. A living organism with a pumping heart, chakras, veins, a circulatory system, both visible through rivers, but also invisible. We have the Earth's etheric veins, the energy channels which are connecting the entire organism together in a grid, just like the veins of our bodies. And this is called the ley lines. Just like the veins of our body, just like our eyes are connected to our mouth, which is connected to our ears, which is connected to our pores, to our nose. Why do I use these examples? because these are points of our body which come in contact with the external environment, so to speak. Our inner organism comes in touch with our outer organism, our external reflection. Our eyes connect our inner body to our environment through seeing. Our nose connects our inner body to our environment our outer body, through smell, through fragrance, our mouth through taste, our ears through sound, our pores and our skin through touch, through substances. The same for Earth. These ley line points, and especially the points at which they intersect, certain lines upon Earth which cross, at these points, there is such a strong charge of energy through which humans can access 
the purest form of energy coming from Earth, coming from cosmic intelligence, and through which humans can affect the energy system of the Earth, just as toxins placed upon our body through creams and materials can affect our blood through our skin, just as disharmonious images or sounds can affect our system. This isn't new information, ley lines. In fact, all the ancient civilizations, all of our ancestors recognized this, and that's why they built the sacred sites upon these points. Whichever civilization you look into, whether you're looking at ancient Egypt and the pyramids, South America and the ancient civilizations of America, Machu Picchu, the Nazca Lines, whether you're looking at ancient Greece, Delphi, ancient Olympia, the Acropolis of Athens, Samothraki, all of these places are fully charged upon ley lines and many, many more, and they're all interconnected between them. The proof that they're connected is that in completely different eras, before human travel was invented, they have the same symbols on their walls, the same philosophies, more or less, the same structures, pyramid structures and temples. These points are connected through the vital energy of Mother Earth. Right now we're on ley line points. That's why you see I'm barefoot. And this phenomenon here that you see, this is typical on ley line points. Some of you might want to think that this is just a coincidental tree that's spiraling. It's not. This is typical upon ley line points. If you go anywhere where the ley lines are intersecting, you will see this kind of phenomena appearing in nature, natural spirals. This isn't the natural course of a tree. And then you have more over there as well, more spiraling trees. Like that. This is because the energy is so strong coming out of this point of Earth. Like that. When you stand upon it, you get fully charged. You can feel it in your body. And that's why placing concrete upon it is the worst thing that can be done. That's like placing makeup upon you as a girl. The pores cannot breathe. That's why acne occurs. That's why toxins build up. Because you're not letting the pores breathe. You're not letting that energy respire, aspire inspire what's the solution because i can almost hear some thoughts that oh you know but it's easy for you because you live on ley lines and you live off grid guys the earth is a living organism just as we have veins all throughout our body not just on one leg not just on one cheek there's veins everywhere Everywhere. The same with Mother Yeah, Mother Earth. She has veins everywhere. These energy currents are running all across her body, no matter where you are. Of course, there are some bigger ones. There are freeways, highways, but you also have the local roads. You have smaller ley lines connecting everything. Of course, there are ley lines near you. All you have to do is be willing to find them. Travel, walk a couple of kilometers, drive a couple of kilometers. You can find them and you'll see it in the phenomena of nature. You'll see it in how you feel. There might be a forest that attracts you more than another one. Go there, follow it. There's no excuses. There's always a way to connect with these currents of earth. And even if you are, let's say you're far from the ley lines, which you're not, you can still go barefoot. You can still find a park and connect to earth without shoes on. We are an extension of Mother Earth. We are not separate from her. That's what the system doesn't want you to remember. And just as Mother Earth has these veins connecting her, has these energy currents connecting her, we do too. When we place something toxic upon our skin, it goes into our blood system. It affects our entire body. 
when we place a toxic egregor mindset, mentality, thought form upon earth through fear, through doubt, through terror, through brainwashing, this egregor eventually affects also the rest of the thought current of earth through her energy currents, through her blood system. We are the blood of earth. Through our thoughts, through our actions, through our words, we have the responsibility. We have a responsibility to affect these energy currents and these veins of Mother Earth positively. Rather than intoxicating her system, to cleanse it. This part of Earth that we are now standing on is connected to another part of Earth. And that part of Earth is connected to another one. They're all connected through these ley lines. They might not be visible to the human eye, but they're there. The nature shows it, the feeling in your body shows it. The animals and their activity shows it. Ants tend to go and want to build their colonies and their homes upon ley lines. The animal activity changes upon ley lines, and so does the human activity, and so does the weather, and so does the quality of the water. These lines, these points are all connected between them. And when there's a whole society built upon it with concrete and fear and paranoia, that goes right into the blood system of the earth. And then you wonder why there's these huge earthquakes and volcanoes and eruptions. That's like the human body having a fever or a flu. Get out, get the toxins out of there. Wash, clean. Humans. Wake up. You've literally had your umbilical cord cut from your own mother, prematurely. Your mother is earth. Earth and sky. You have a right to connect with her. Connecting with her is what will preserve your health, nothing else. If you just listen, in silence, you can feel it. You can feel how strong this place is. And it's not just this place, it's every single point on Earth. It's the entire surface of Earth. Some places, of course, are a bit stronger because the ley lines intersect upon them, but every single point of this Earth, every single forest, park, river, valley, lake, mountain, if you just go there and listen deeply, you can reconnect. I invite you to remember your connection with Mother Earth, Mother Yeah. You are just as much a part of her as these trees, this rock, this grass, these birds. And none of them are living in fear. Why? Remember.